Then another very, very interesting, powerful, scary point. Very scary meaning it's something that will, you know, cause alarm. If you do not fear Allah, you begin to fear everything besides Allah. If you have transgressed against Allah, you begin to become worried about the people. You begin to become worried about the rest. Every time you have the fear of Allah and you have fulfilled the instruction of Allah, Allah suffices for you. Allah is sufficient. You have the fear of Allah. You're doing everything correct. There's no harm. You're not worried. You come into the masjid, Allahu Akbar. Your concentration is salah is to its maximum, to the best you can. The reason is you have nothing to worry about. What did you do? Nothing wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I come here. I'm such a happy person, Allahu Akbar. And that's it. I don't fear anyone besides Allah. You will always have a person saying a thing or two that's negative, but none of us can be saved from that because it's part of the test of Allah for both the one who was spoken about and the one who's speaking. But when a person sins, they are worried. They're not fearing, fearing of Allah. They're not fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They come, they, hey, what will this person say? Did that one see me? A person who steals, for example, he thinks that someone must have seen him. How, you know, this person might know. That person might find out. A person who has stolen, a person who commits adultery, a person who has done anything wrong, he's worried about humankind more than he's worried about Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a direct effect of the evil that a person does. Notice I'm still saying a believer because at the end of the day, we do believe. My brothers and sisters, like I say, I'm repeating it a second time. The doors of repentance are open always for as long as it doesn't get to the end. We are still living. We're still breathing. We haven't yet got to Sakarat. We haven't yet got to Gargara, meaning the point of death of each one of us. And the world has not yet come to an end. So we can turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember, the more we become conscious of Allah, the less we will fear the rest. And the less we are conscious of Allah, the more we begin to fear the rest.